What? What are we doing outside of Orenburg's Pokemon Center? Well, I'll explain in a second. But first, hello everyone, Wildfire Double Nights from 2 here. Welcome back to the Pearl Nuzlocke. In the last episode, there was a huge explosion that went off at Lake Valor. And, well, in this episode, I want to go take another detour. I know, I know, I'm sorry for all the detours, but there's something I really need to take care of that I didn't take care of when we first got here. Well, not here, per se. I'm really talking about North, at Route 206. And to do that, I'm going to need something that can use Strength and Rock Smash and probably Flash. So, I think I'm going to bring along Beef. Because I'm going to need something that can do all that. And I think I'm going to leave behind Carrot. Because what we're going to be fighting is not really going to be benefited. Or is really not going to be weak to what Carrot has in store. So, sorry Carrot, I'll come back for you later. So, that's all fine and good, but I gotta teach some moves to Beef. So, give me one quick sec and we'll head on to whatever I need to do. And also, before I forget, I'm gonna need to teach something Flash. So, I'm actually gonna give that to Celery, since he's gonna get a better move in a little bit. Well, hopefully in a little bit. And I just need to give him something else to put about that empty slot. So, I'm gonna get Strength out and give that to Beef. And then I'm gonna get Rock Smash and give that to Beef as well. Okay, we're all set. So, I know this question may be eating you up, but where the heck are we going? Well, we need to go to a little place up north. This way, Route 207, I apologize. I, I always get these routes confused. No, no, we are on Route 206. I'm, I am an idiot. I truly am an idiot. And I need something with cut. Crap. Uh, can Beef learn cut? Hope he can. He cannot. Um, can Apple benefit from this move? Let's see. Probably not that wise of a choice, but at this point I'll take anything. Um, I don't know. All these moves could be useful. Um, I'll, I'll teach it to someone else. Um, let's see. I think I'll teach it to maybe great. I probably need to get rid of Shockwave and teach it something better. Or maybe get rid of Stockpile, I don't know. Um... I'm not sure. I gotta think about this for a sec, guys. I'm so sorry. Oops. Um, I gotta think. Do I have any better Electro-type moves I can use? Mmm, let's see... I have Thunderbolt. Yeah. So I think, for now, I'm gonna get rid of... Z um, I don't know, it's Zap Cannon. Because I saw Flash Cannon on screen. I'm gonna get rid of... Uh, Shockwave, just for now. Because, quite frankly, I'm not really gonna be using it in this part of the game. Well, I may not use it. So... Now that that's out of the way, we need to go to Wayward Cave, which is all the way up here, but not just any part of Wayward Cave. I want to start off by getting away from this random encounter, wonderful, <clears throat> little horsey, well, not horsey, but Ponyta. Yeah, if it was a horsey, that'd be pretty bad. I gotta get away from this fight, good. Now, I probably should have done this area, like... 30 episodes ago, but I wanted to save this spot so I could get something, try and get something really, really, really cool. But I don't even know if that'll happen. It's all a matter of luck of the draw. But we'll just have to see. Okay, darn it. Yeah, episode's thrilling, isn't it? And we already have our encounter here, so I can't get anything. So... Let's just run away from this fight. The bronze ore would be nice to have. But that's not really what I'm looking for in this area. Or in Wayward Cave. If we could stop with the random encounters, please. I'd really like to save my repels. If at all possible. <clears throat> well, let's get through here. Let's 
get up here. And where is that entrance? Where are you? Where are you? Uh, I'm probably in the wrong spot, aren't I? Duh, come on. Really? I really would like to save my repels and not have to use them now. Uh, come on. I'm sorry if this is so boring, but that's what I have to do. Uh, you know what, forget it. I'll use a repel. Because quite frankly, I'm sick of it. I only have four. I probably need to go buy some more. Where are you? There you are. So here we are in the Wayward Cave. So let's push this rock forward now that we have strength and can use it. So let's go down a floor and see what we can find. And oddly enough, you don't need strength. To, you don't need. You don't need flash at this floor because I don't know. They lit it or something. I don't know. So in here there are a bunch of items you can find. And some of them, in fact, the vast majority of them are hidden. So, I'm going to take a look <clears throat> while we wait for the rappel to wear off. Get up here. And we have more of these trick ramps. And let's do this right. And you probably need to do this in one shot, so I probably mess it up. So, and the rappel wears off. So, it's time to see what our encounter is here. And my encounter for the Wayward Cave is... A Gibble! We actually got Gibble! Oh my gosh. <coughs> Excuse me. That is awesome. Alright. That is awesome. And since we are in a dark cave, Dust Balls will work wonders here. Dust Balls, works, dust balls work in caves, at night, and wherever it's dark, and that surprisingly didn't work. Well, we'll keep trying. And you're using takedown. I gotta be careful that it knows takedown. Won't do that much damage to itself, but it does know the attack. I'm actually gonna switch to Apple and paralyze it. Alright. I can't believe we actually found this thing. It's a 15% chance. Alright. Let's go ahead and paralyze this guy. This son of a gun. Alright, and this is only like half of Wayward Cave, this whole bottom floor here, because the top floor, it has ten trainers to fight, and another partner, actually. We'll get to her in a minute, but we had to catch this guy first. Alright, let us catch this thing. Yes, we got ourselves a Gibble. Oh, that is so nice. Alright. Gibble, the land shark Pokemon. It once lived in the tropics. To avoid the cold, it lives in caves warmed by geothermal heat. Oh, it feels so good to have this thing. And what should I name it? Um, I think I'm actually gonna name it... This. Let me make sure I spelled it right. Give me one quick second. Actually, no, it's 1D. Oh. Alright. Oh, box 2 is full. It was sent to box 3. Good thing it's not Generation 2, where you can't catch any Pokemon if you don't have an empty box. That would be just a travesty. And, well, let's keep going. Let's find some stuff here. Like this item, which is a Max Ether. Cool. A free Max Ether. I'll take it. And what's over here? Nothing. And this is going to be really tricky, because if you look, you have to time it just right, so... Darn it. Well, bronze or something else I could have gotten. That's not bad. So... Let's go ahead and run from this battle, now that I have my encounter. I'll probably go ahead and put up another repel real quick. Okay. <coughs> now, as I was saying, we have to time this just right. I think if you're, if you're on the lower gear, it should work fine. Yeah, you have to make it so you can't jump over the gap. You have to be slow about it. So, 
There are a lot of stuff in here. It's easy to get lost. And... Yeah, I think we're going alright. I don't think we've missed anything. So... Let's go ahead and keep going. A Grip Claw. I think that's a move where if you use moves like... What is it? Wrap or something? Yeah, if you use if you use moves like Wrap, then it'll do... I think it'll hold on longer and do more damage. I think that's what it does. Let me check. Because I honestly don't remember. It's either it does more damage or it holds on for longer. Uh, it extends the duration of multi-turn moves like Bind and Wrap. Okay, so it just it takes longer to wear off, essentially. Cool. Alright, I'm going to check every so often. And we're going to want to get a head start. And, shoot. Oh, we'll keep going. And we need to get a running start to go over this. Anything over here? Nope. Okay. And we go up. Uh, we go up. There we go. We go down to get this item, which is a revive. Nice. I don't need it. And I'll go ahead and put on another repel. In fact, once I'm done with this area, I'm going to go back and buy a bunch of repels. Because, quite frankly, money is pretty much plentiful in this game. Especially if you have the item, the amulet coin, which doubles how much money you get in battle. I don't remember if I talked about that already, but if you have that item equipped, and you use it, you use the Pokemon in battle, you get double the money you would have gotten. And so I think we're pretty much done here. So, let's get this one last item, which is TM26 Earthquake. That is incredibly good. This is such a good move. <clears throat> yeah, I pretty much, I think I've already talked about how good Earthquake is. And now we have it in TM form. So, we're done here. In, at least in the bottom half of Wayward Cave. And I'm actually, now that I think about it, the last episode I did say we'd fight the the guy at Lake Valor, so I think we'll go ahead and do that real quick. I know, I know, but I'll come back to Wayward Cave as soon as we're done. I'll come back in the next episode, how about that? So, let's go ahead and fly back to Veilstone City, <clears throat> and let's get, let's check out Radish while we're there, and let's get Carrot back in our PC, back in our team from the PC. I can't talk today, I apologize. So, let's go ahead and check this bad girl out. Alright. Look at her. She's so adorable. Alright, I'm going to pull out my nature's list, just in case I can't tell what the nature is. Alright, I'm all set. So, let's see what she has. She has a lax nature, which raises defense but lowers special defense. That's probably not all that good, but it could be worse, I guess. But look at that attack stat. Sand attack, dragon rage, sandstorm, and takedown. That's really not that bad. So, I don't think I'll need to use her in the upcoming gym, which, spoiler alert, is strong against Gibble, twofold, and my repel raw. Oh, what am I doing? I forgot to go get Carrot. Duh. Derp. So, I'm gonna hold off on using her for now. Maybe after this gym, maybe after this next gym I'll come back for her, if I need her. But for now, I, I won't need her. Nothing against you, Radish. I just don't need you. Alright, Carrot. Let's put you back on the team. Thank you, Beef. You were useful as an HM slave. Alright. So, I'm going to go back to Lake Valor, and I will... S Actually, I need to heal. Jeez, going back and forth. What am I, a seesaw? I'm going to heal, and I'm going to go back to Lake Valor, and I'm, I'm going to just cut there, because quite frankly, I don't want to show any more encounters. If anything special happens, I will show you, like if I find a shiny. I'm, s I'm, I'm recording all of this, so... I promise not to do anything special. I'm just going to cut there. And I will see you guys in just a sec. It'll be a, a while for me, but it'll be a split second for you. So I will see you right now. Alright, here we are at Lake Valor. Alright. 
Only had one encounter. That's not that bad. It was a graveler. It wasn't anything special. So, here we are back at Lake Valor. And we're actually going to go inside and see what the heck happened. And what the heck is in this cave. And why the heck am I saying heck so much? Well, I could be saying something else, but I'm going to keep it PG. Just because I'm cool that way. So, let's go ahead and get started. That's the best way to put it. So, here we go. I'm just going to st switch, or start with Pancake for the heck of it. So, here we are at this guy with funny looking hair. Let's see what he wants. Mm, let's see. The mission is proceeding without a hitch. The boss should be pleased. Everything is for everyone, and for the good of Team Galactic. <gasps> you saw me. I recognize your face. Well, I just ate your face. You're the child who raided the Team Galactic building in Eterna. <laughs> Jupiter should be ashamed of herself being beaten by a child. But anything and anyone that opposes Team Galactic must be crushed. Even the very thought of opposition will not be tolerated. Oh, he's fighting back. Yeah, Jupiter ought to be ashamed of herself for losing to us. Oh, and Kadabra is what you're starting on. I think that Pancake can do this. I mean, we're what, three levels ahead? I think a simple fly will do the trick. And we're lowering its attack, so let's just go ahead and use fly. Oh, and you're faster than me. I really hope this doesn't do too much. Ooh, that was dangerous. Yeah, that was really, really dangerous. Oh, and suddenly I'm faster than it. I don't know if Pancake will live through this. Oh, good. One hit. That was good. I'm going to have to switch out. Alright. 1,087 experience. And bronze over. I am going to switch to blueberry. Alright. Let's go. And bronze ore. I admit, that was a little scary. I didn't think I'd live through that. So I'm going to use Surf. Yeah, if you've seen my earlier videos, you know the power of Kadabra. I miss you, Fries. Why'd you have to die? Uh, not quite, but I think he can live through this. Oh yeah, that was only 10 damage. That's not that bad. So now I'm going to finish with a Water Pulse. Very, very nice. What the heck was I referencing there? Oh well. Alright. And now he's sending out a Toxic Croak. This could be a little dangerous. I'm not gonna switch out to, switch out to Pancake, because quite frankly it ain't worth it. Um, I could go for Celery and try and put in an Earthquake, but I'm a little afraid of its Poison Jab attack. Uh, hmm. If only Pancake didn't take that much damage. I should have switched up to Grape from the start. Uh, no matter what I have, it's going to do a lot of damage. Uh, I really don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I should go to Celery. You know what? Yeah, I'll go for Celery. Because I think he's defensive enough to withstand a poison jab attack. So, I think I'm going to get one strong earthquake in and see how much it will do. And of course it's faster than me, but hopefully poison jab won't do that much. Okay, that did about 34 damage. Probably around a third. Maybe a little more than a third. A fourth, probably. I don't know. A third or a fourth damage, I don't know. And we took it out with one hit, so that wasn't as bad as I thought. It was scary with Kadabra, but that was about it. 1434 experience. Very, very nice. You, my friend, are tough. I can see why you defy us, so... Gah! Even I, a commander, only managed to buy us time. But that's fine. A child like you will never be able to 
to stem the flow of time. Team Galactic will get the three legendary Pokemon of the lakes. With their power, we will create an entirely new universe. By now, Mars should have captured the Pokemon of Lake Verity. Ooh, so that's our next destination, Lake Verity. But, before we go there, we're going to want to go to Wayward Cave and take care of some business there. But we're going to tackle that on the next episode. So, if you like what you watched, give the video a big old thumbs up. It'll help out significantly. Comment on what you liked and didn't like. Maybe I can fix it. And subscribe to my channel if you like what you watched. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. So, this has been Wildfire00972, in case you forgot. And in the next episode, we're going to take a look at what's in Wayward Cave. So, I will see you then.